Das Ter fast nes hovelo me vasize. Is messis never comes to an end. E a new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. I appreciate God for a wonderful man after the heart of God that God gave to me years back. I did not regret having him as my husband. He's a loving and caring husband. He's a father, he's a mentor, and he's a role model. God has been helping him. I salute the power of God in him. Through the help of the Holy Spirit, he has become what he is today. Dr. Jesilawa, my father, Papa J, as I used to call him, is the strongest and most dedicated, most devoted man I've known. He's courageous, so friendly and hardworking. And his love for God is so amazing that as people and students used to say, Daddy is so strict. Yeah, he's so strict, but if you do what he asks you to do, like he loves obedience. So Daddy is also hardworking and he loves God. As we all know, a father is a very powerful force in a child's life, impacting knowledge, values, and in a child's life. So I can say in that aspect, daddy is a role model. So daddy, thank you for being our role model, the family's rock, our strength, and my best friend. We love you, daddy. Happy birthday to the best dad in the world. I'm so proud to have a father like you. And I pray that may you live long and you eat the fruit of our labor on all of us in Jesus' name. We love you so much, Daddy. By the grace of God, I'm the first child of the family. And um, there is so much to say about evangelist Dr. Jesus Law, which happens to be my dad. But I'll just mention a few out of them all. Number one thing about Daddy is, is his love for God. Um, his love for God in terms of there are so many instances whereby even at home when we are in need of some things and so many things actually but we still see him actually going forth for something that pertains to God first in terms of actually reaching out to the people through our administration, through the administration that God has committed into their hands that is Simon. So we see that Showing forth because we see that the passion is there, the zeal for God is there. So I would say the love for God in Him is top notch. Transparency. This is something I've learned from Him. Transparency in terms of saying your yes to be yes and your no is actually your no. I'm using this medium to wish Him a happy 68th birthday. Wishing him long life and prosperity in the land of the living. We pray that God Almighty will spare your life to see many decades. If you tarry in his coming, in Jesus' name. Continue to age with God's grace, in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Eniola Chai. I graduated in the year 2002 from the Mass Communication Department of the Yadisha Wahurui campus of the Polytechnic Ibadan. Uh, evangelist Abiola Chesulo, I'll say, is a great man. I remember back in the day in school, he was a very thorough man. He was very firm. He was um, a, a dogged lecturer who tried as much as possible to get the best out of so many of us. I happen to be one of those people who actually went through him and I internalized some of the things that he stood for. Actually back in the day, some of us didn't quite have a full grasp of what he was trying to do because you see passion in him, you see doggedness in him, you see that, you know, just like um, Apostle Paul, in the Bible, 
who said that his life was poured out. Evangelist just love poured everything into it. He poured out his life to impart knowledge in so many of us that went through him or that passed through him. And uh, he had impact in so many ways. In fact, I can say that uh, his footprints are still very visible in the sand of time. By the grace of God today, I am currently a doctorate student at the University of South Los Angeles in California, United States. And um, I will say that he shaped me in so many ways. In fact, I will say that I cut my teeth under him when it comes to public speaking. I was a very shy person. I couldn't address one, two or three people. But through uh, Evangelist Village's law, I developed the interest in public speaking. I developed a confidence. I found my feet, you know, going through him as a student back in the day. And his wife, they were always very ready to help us. They were readily available to offer counsel. At different times, they were invited to minister to us. And some of the things they taught us back in the day, those things are still uh, the, life, the life principles that we have held on to that have helped us in our journey of life. So at 60, I would say, I congratulate him. I celebrate you, sir. Uh, six decades of God's goodness, six decades of God's grace, six decades of God's wonderful works, six decades of amazing life, six decades in the land of the living. I congratulate you, sir. I celebrate you, Evangelist Biola Lower at 60. And I pray that the Lord will keep you and strengthen you and give you many more years to spend so you can continue to make impact and uh, so that you can continue to affect the body of Christ and also the academia. Congratulations, sir. Happy birthday to you. I count it a great privilege to be a former student of Evangelist Abiola Jesulo. He happens to be a father, a, a lecturer by excellence. He is a lover of God and even far back in school days, he happens to be a no-nonsense person. When it comes to class, the very first few minutes, he tries to talk to you, you know, in a manner you think uh, probably he was threatening you. So because he will talk to you in class that if you scored A1 in English, don't think you can score A1 in my English. For you to be able to score 50 or 60, then you have to work extra. So most times, most people, who are students, will not want to be in his class because uh, they feel maybe threatened. And uh, you know, is somebody who comes to class and tell you, tear a sheet of paper, you're going to do mid-semester examination. So most times we we'll look at that as just a test, but to him, it's a mid-semester examination. So, and uh, he's, uh, he happens to be a lover of God. He's a spiritual leader. He's someone that will come up with a lot of programs in order to enrich our students' spiritual life. I've been under his ministration far back in school and uh, I was really, really blessed. So he happens to be a playwright, uh, an artist by excellence, and uh, of course he is uh, a model. I pray as his marks his 60th birthday, that God Almighty will grant him a long life. God Almighty will strengthen him, he will give him perfect health, he will give him the grace to see his children's children. My name is Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adedino, popularly known as Jan Do, the president of the Association of Student Communicators in the year 2002, at the then Polytechnic Ibadan, at the Shimogudo in Campos, which is today the Ibarapa Polytechnic. Um, first, let me join the uh, numerous well wishes of our teacher, uh, Mr. Abiola Jesulowo, uh, Dr. Abiola Jesulowo, as known now, uh, to congratulate him on his 60th birthday. Um, I would say this man is among a very few uh, individuals that assisted in shaping uh, our lives, especially mine, uh, because I have a very close contact with him, um, you know, growing up. And today I can say that many of the things that we know, 
especially when it comes to communication skills and even writing skills, we all learned from this uh, a very intelligent man. Um, I also want to uh, recollect vividly my very first encounter with him. Um, that was when I was actually running to be president of Hascom. Uh, one day he came to our class and he was looking at everybody. I think at that time there was um, um, some sort of courtist activities within the campus and he was preaching to us in the class and he was asking everybody. He now turned to me and said, you, I bet we want you. And everybody started laughing and all of that. That was my very first um, encounter with him. The second one was when we were contesting exactly when I wanted to be ASCOM president, I, I was among the crowd, he addressed us, and when it was time for me to speak, I, I think then he just changed his name from Awolowo to Jesulo, and I said, hmm, I think Mr. Awolowo was a wicked man, but this Jesulo, we hope he's going to be, I see, and he said, take that back, I said, I'm not going to take it back, I said, take that back, I mean, why at that time were actually seen him as a wicked man because of his principle this is the man that will tell you 7 a.m you have to be in my class if you are not in my class that 7 a.m you are not part of that lecture and he's going to take attendance and attendance comes with mark for us at that time we thought it's just being wicked how can somebody tell us to come to class seven o'clock today that has assisted in shaping my life if meeting is called for nine o'clock I am there even before nine o'clock and he speaks to uh, leadership and I want to appreciate him, I want to thank him. Uh, I think the second encounter, uh, the third encounter as the case may be, was when, you know, already I was ASCOM president and that time it was also the HOD of Mass Communication Department and it was the time that I stood up to say, you know what, we are going to fight for our autonomy, we want to migrate from the era where the staff of the department is having a say in student affairs and i decided to say look we are going to fight for this autonomy throughout that period uh, this man showed um, a discipline this man exhibited his integrity um, anytime i have an encounter with him discussing this he, 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 he saw i mean the moral deficit in the fact that how can one of them or the entire department be having a say in student affair. I'm not just talking about a say, I'm talking about a, a, a financial say, uh, where a staff of the department is a mandatory signatory to student affair. And I want to put a stop to that as, as a Lagos boy, you know. And I went about it the best way I, I know how to go about it. And we, we got the autonomy. It was the one that actually issued the autonomy memo and pasted it on the board. And you know, at the end of all the grammar and all of that, it just put, you know, there and say, going forward, ASCOM is on its own. While some of us will understand that this is freedom we're jubilating, you know, in the departments of many, you can't but have some people who will be giving it another interpretation to say, oh, we are now on our own, how that will suffer, how this will happen to us. I took my time to address them again, and it supported in making sure that autonomy, we enjoyed it and we're able to transfer it to uh, those that are coming. I believe till today, uh, as comes to enjoy that autonomy. So for me, uh, it's indeed a privilege to have passed through his school of thought, to have drank from his well of wisdom. And I want to use this occasion to appreciate him, to congratulate him, to say that we will see him over and over again in good health and it will continue to be a shiny light uh, uh, for all of us. He has shown leadership, appreciating there is no time that I go to that school for anything at all before leaving the school. I must, as a matter of must, look for him and stop by and say hello to him. Dr. Abiola just Law, congratulations. Happy birthday once again. I was privileged to know Evangelist Abiola just Law in the then addition of the campus of the Podemic Ibadan in Rua. A lecturer by excellence, humble and approachable. Dr. Jesus left me with the memory of a dedicated lecturer who will be more than overnight that my with us and still be the first to be in class the following day. He is still in us discipline as Christian students. 
many of us are products of his dedication to God and humanity. Evangelist, this Lord was not just a lecturer to many of us, he was also a spiritual father. I join other children of yours to wish you happy 60th birthday. I joined the whole world to celebrate this remarkable milestone, the 60th birthday of a truly great man of God, Evangelist Jesus Lord. Your life has been a testament of unwavering faith, boundless compassion, and selfless service to God and the man. Your integrity and dedication have touched lives. It has influenced many people, inspired many people, to walk in the path of righteousness and love. Landing on this sixth floor, may you continue to be a beacon of hope and a source of strength to everyone that crosses your path. I pray that on this floor, you will enjoy peace, love, and joy. And you have abundance of grace and, and anointing to carry on this assignment of God in your hand. Age gracefully, age in health. Happy birthday to you, Lord Jesus Lord. Bo jo ala fi a jo bo. Eba mi kato da ye alonu ya nu lori baba mi abiola Jesus lawo. Baba rere aje rere ton shi shi eronse ni ba bo bo eba anki da di mi pe o ko jo ibi o gota odun. Abiola o baba mi Jesus lawo e ko jo ibi o e ko ma gota odun lori ile ala ye. Nagbara o lodun mare e o se 70 e o se 80 e 100 lagbara olorun o ba daddy mi abi ola jesus lowo mo duku ola ya ba jesus de lo nkin pe ko ojo ibi e ti siwaju ninu se oluwa e ti si se iranse ai mo se ko ni je ti yin lai lai e ko ori ire o abi birthday to you many many happy return happy sister birthday to evangelist doctor abi ola jesus lowo I got to know Daddy when I went on training in Mount Zion Institute of Christian Drama in 2018, where Dr. Abiola is one of the lecturers. And I discovered that he's a friend of God, a lover of God, and a disciplinarian. I pray for you in this new age. Daddy, you will not spend this new age in sickness in the name of Jesus. Rather, the Lord will prosper you. The Lord will prosper your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm blessed to be one of the members of MSBSFI, the fellowship where our daddy is the general overseer. I join you, daddy, to sing to heaven and say, Eshe ibite tibere, Eshe ibite bade, Adupe o Jesu, Happy 60th birthday, Daddy Jesu Lowa, Doctor Abiola Jesu Lowa. I want to thank God for your life, sir. Thank God for how God has helped. I remember when I was just growing and I had a burden for drama ministry, and I was like, How will I be able to? get this vision accomplished. I needed to travel down to Irua to live with my uncle, late Dr. Kulu Yongbo Awojobi and Evangelist Atinuke Awojobi and to the glory of God, the church where they attend, there is Jesus, the light drama group that God used you to establish and I was so excited even to meet you one on one and since then the lord has been using you you know to father us even in this ministry and encouragement prayers especially you and mommy um mommy are your daily just lower our prayer machine i want to appreciate god in your life daddy thank you for being an humble diligent persistent Happy 60th birthday. I celebrate God in your life. Even my husband, uh, they, me, I think we do happen to be one of the founding members of Jesus Light Drama Group. Thank you for all your labors. Even when you were actually drum president, the national president, then you are accessible, you are humble, you are still approachable. We can come to you, we can call you at any time, even till now. I remember the period where you met that the 
difficulties who are attacking who are, you know you face a lot of things even in Erua you are still standing strong I want to thank God for your life I celebrate God in your life even for still holding on to the ancient landmark thank you so much for being an example I pray that the Lord will strengthen you as you clock 60 the Lord will renew your strength you will go from grace to grace in the name of Jesus I pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon you that day I celebrate you I thank God for your life and I pray the Lord will increase you the Lord will bless you the Lord will cause his grace to shine upon you in the name of Jesus daddy happy 60th birthday God bless you sir love you sir thank you from ah I start seeing those things it's a sense of fame. Uh, it's a book that has no conclusion. Uh, it said the one just have to have a place to put a uh, full stop. Uh, that the Jesus logo is, 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 is an apostle, is an evangelist, is a pastor, is a teacher, likewise a prophet, especially when ministry, when you study, that he is is an investor. I'm not saying business. If there's a saying that saying the the best investment is not in the business, but your the best investment in the people you raise is the number of people you raise, the people you invest into their life, and that's the religious law. The religious law does not doesn't want to know where you come from or who you are. Is ready to impart your life. Provided you are ready. Even if you are not ready, it's going to make efforts to drop something, to make sure that something is dropped into your life. And that is it. But there's one thing I will never forget in my life. To run it all. I remember when we were in Iruwa, when I was a student, you know, it's getting to it was time of the exam. You know, some of us that went to Iruwa would say that Iruwa is very. So during that time, so we were two then. Mommy just Lord just called us. That is uh, I, uh sister charity only joke one night. And without telling her what we were in need of. So and she gave us full stuff. Rice and something, uh, vegetable oil that uh, she knows and uh, she understands the situation. Take this. And I want to believe that we were not going to be the only two people that such is going to be given to. They are so wonderful to us. And I pray as we are celebrating your 68 birthdays, may the Lord continue to increase you more in ministry, in life, in any area. And may He grant you the desire of your heart according to His will in the name of Jesus. Above all, you will not miss your reward. You shall be a candidate of heaven. You will be always relevant in the things of God. May the Lord bless you once again. Happy birthday, long life, and prosperity. I want to wish my friend, Evangelist Abiola Jason Lowo, a happy 68th birthday. Abiola Jason Lowo, I want to be a man of God. He fears God to the core. It's a world you don't evangelist. We are together in the University of Badan from 1987 to 1991 for our Bachelor of Arts degree in uh, Communication Language Arts. Since then we've been together. He has been a man of proven integrity. He has been, he has been living a life worthy of emulation. So at this age of 60, I want to wish him and welcome him to a new era of his life. Because when you are 60, there is a new dimension to life, to your life. So I, I want to wish him a good entrance to the sixth floor. It is my prayer that the sixth floor will not, will not be difficult for him in Jesus' name. What he has not been able to achieve since uh, he was born, he will achieve it at this uh, age in Jesus' name. Think about it, 60, Oti Dagbanye, 70, 75, Odagba Lagba, 80, Oti Darubo, 
to atin pe night lo di ogbologbo mo gbadura ko ma dogbologbo in the name of jesus get us long life shall be your prayer bible says it will satisfy you with long life and show you salvation yeah so they show you salvation you are saved that means long life and that the long life shall be your portion in jesus name happy birthday uh, happy birthday to our daddy evangelist dr abiola jisla I'm privileged to record this video to celebrate you. I've known him for a long time since our days at Ilikoju Baptist Church, Irua. I remember to the glory of God was the founding president of Jesus the Light Drama Ministries. And in those days, he would look forward to drama ministrations in Ilikoju Baptist Church, especially during um, Christmas and New Year. I'll never forget those two wonderful stage plays, and Fanny Kane and Anna, Anna Ishu. They are very uh, powerful and we are so uh, blessed by them. Um, and Fanny Kane eventually became a household movie produced by him and Jesus the Light Drama Ministry in Irua. In, um, in Irua. I bless them with the love for your life, sir. You are somebody who has been a role model to any people living me. Yeah, is that is somebody who is very jovial, very fun to be with. Thank God for um I did Jesus in the world's life and the children, especially testimony. Testimony yeah, one of my one of my very good uh, younger brothers and his siblings. Thank God for your life sir. You are a force to reckon with in the kingdom business. Thank you for the what God is using you to do in the drama ministry. I pray that the Lord Almighty will continue to bless you, keep you. Um, may you continue to be relevant in the kingdom business in Jesus' name. I pray that this will not be the last, and may you never know it better yesterday in the mighty name of Jesus. I celebrate our dear mommy too. God bless you, man. Because they say after... Um, a successful woman is always beside a successful man. Thank you for supporting that in everything he does, and it's very clear that you are doing that. I pray that you all be both with it, the fruit of your labor, in the mighty name of Jesus. Happy birthday and many happy returns of the day, sir. Blessings and Godspeed. Amen. Blessings, everyone. My name is Felix Bancole, and guess what? Ah. I'm very, very happy today because one of my fathers, I do say something that uh, I'm a product of grace, a product of many grace. And one of our fathers in the Lord that I have enjoyed the grace of the Lord in his life, Daddy Jesu Lowo. Wow, 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 wow. That's Dr. Jesu Lowo. He's clocking 60 years. We are celebrating him and I'm very happy to be his son to him. I have few... I have plenty of things to say rather, but I'm going to share my few experiences with him. He taught me at the Mount Zion Institute the first time I came. And guess what? The following year during the refresher class, we happened to be in the same room. <laughs> and I, I, I saw humility. You know, some of you have been watching on the TV for years, and there you are in the same room with him. We even share bed sometimes, but the humility, and you know, of course, I have to. Daddy, daddy, okay, serve. But he is very humble. And there came a time that year in, year out, we were in the room together at the Monzaya Institute for more than five years. What is five years? More than five years for refresher class. But yet he didn't see me as I taught him this, always advising togetherness. I remember when we used to do short skits in the institute, I would just call him, Daddy, please come. They would just say, hey, Bro, Felix, okay, let's go. When, what do you want me to do? Ready to serve. I saw humility. I saw the spirit of service. He's ready to serve. He doesn't look down on anyone. Anything that has to do with the work of God, he's there. He's progressive. He wants others to progress also. Daddy, we wish you happy 60th birthday on behalf of myself, my wife, and the entire Global Drama Missions Campaign, the Outreach of the Ministry of Vision Drama Missions Outreach International. We wish you happiest birthday. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will sustain you. It is well with you and your family. Congratulations, Daddy. Sanu and Barkari. Thank you. Anyway, 
uh, a new evangelist, a builder just in the world some years ago. Actually, I didn't know him for madams. But when I got to Irua, when I was transferred in uh, 2008, I came across a man called Jesus Lowo. They call him Jesus Lowo, Jesus Lowo, they only Bosji, Bosji, who is Bosji? Then I now learned that uh, is this one Jesus Lowo. But before I knew him uh, personally, I've been hearing him when I was in Ibadan because actually I was uh, at the Polytechnic Ibadan. And I knew many lecturers here by their names, but I didn't know them personally. But when I got here now, when I now saw him, and I saw him, okay, ah, this is the Erujeje, called Jesu Lowo. Eh? Later I knew that he was Awulowo, chained to Jesu Lowo. So since that time now, I've been mentoring him. Anyway, I see him as somebody who is a, who's a disciplinarian, very tough, very articulate, and very difficult to beg. That's only one thing about him now. You can beg him. You say, I'm going this way. No. Okay, this logo is very difficult. To, it's very difficult to beg. Possibly that is what I don't like too much about him. Because uh, <laughs> to beg him is difficult, very rigid. But above that, he's very amiable, very disciplined. He's a very lively fellow. When you meet him at a very nice period now, you will see second hand of a uh, second side of a uh, just yes, lower. We see that he's very amiable. But somebody looking at him at a distance, we see that uh, oh this man is uh, difficult to handle, difficult to deal with, difficult to interact with. But when you have a very close or a very close uh, uh, something very close uh, approach with him now, we see him as very interesting. I want to wish him best of luck. To clock 60 is not easy, but I pray that uh, he will witness 70, he will witness 80, he will witness 100, I will, he, will, he will witness 120. I wish you a happy birthday, long life and prosperity. Happy birthday to you, my daddy, Daddy Jesse Lowo. More fruitful years ahead of you, more grace and more anointing. The Lord will continue to be with you. I met Daddy Jesse Lowo one or one years back at the Rua. He invited my boss for makeup for a film that he wanted to produce then. I was then an apprentice in makeup. Daddy and Mommy Jess Law was stood by me. I bless the name of the Lord for Daddy Jess Law was family, for Daddy Jess Law was life, family, and ministry. It is a great pleasure for me to have you as my father. Ah, on this day of your sister's birthday, I celebrate you, sir. Jesus Love family is a wonderful family that always show Jesus love to the brethren and has passion for so many true drama and family ministries. More grace, sir. You shall fulfill your days in the land of the living in Jesus' name. Wishing that the Jesus Love a, pro a prosperous, the Armand Jubilee celebration. Today, I want to bless the name of the Lord for the life of our daddy, evangelist, Dr. Abiola Sunday, just to lower. We thank God for your exemplary leadership. We, you are a father uh, and a mentor. Uh, and I tell people around that my journey to Iowa campus was not all about my academic pursuit, but God actually programmed that so that I'll be able to meet uh, Daddy. And I want to bless God for uh, making me come across him. He has been a father. Uh, he has been a mentor. I've left uh, the campus uh, about 17 years now, but Daddy has been in touch, in course, praise for me, and all of that. Uh, he never, I, there's never been a time that uh, I have any regrets whatsoever uh, for meeting him. He has been very supportive. I remember I was in Eroa to celebrate uh, his 50th birthday with him at the popular Eliroa Town Hall. Also, last year, Daddy uh, was 59. I was also privileged to be, to have a lunch with him on, on his birthday in his house. Uh, today, uh, we bless God because Daddy is celebrating his 60th birthday. I will wish you long life and prosperity, in sound mind, and in good health. Happy birthday, Daddy. 
God bless you. I know that he just know her for almost 38 years now. Meeting him in life is a plan of God because he is my destiny helper. He has helped me to come to the knowledge of God. He helped me in my academics, marriage, and to grow in the Lord. He mentored me. He brought me. I gave my life during the revival in Iwo, uh, uh, Oshun State. Daddy Jesus Lawa is a soul winner and he is a counselor. We celebrate you, sir. Long life and prosperity. Happy birthday to you, Daddy Jesus Lawa. Abiola Sunday. Eep, eep, eep. Evangelist Dr. Abiola Jason Lowell as he celebrates his 60th birthday. We celebrate God's gift package in the person of Evangelist Dr. Abiola Jesu Lowell. He is a great man of God. I met him before he got married. Since then, his life, ministry, and marriage has been an inspiration to me. Rabbi Jesu Lawa is a disciplinarian. He's a teacher of the Word of God. He's a man of faith. He's a peacemaker. He's, a, he's an evangelical drama minister. Also, I know evangelist Dr. Abiola Jesu Lawa to be an encourager and a man that says the truth and stands for the truth always daddy we wish you happy, happy birthday mm, and bless, we pray, pray blessings, blessings upon, upon blessings, blessings a million, and return million returns of the seed soul. So, so, may you live may you to, live see to see your, your children children, children, children in Jesus, Jesus name, name. Amen. Amen. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Wow. Evangelist Dr. Abiola Sunday Jess Lower is 60. Wow. It's, it's a good thing to serve the Lord. It's a good thing to be in the presence of the Lord. Evangelist Dr. Biola Jesu Lowo, you have been a great man and you worth celebrating. And we will celebrate you at this 60th birthday. Um, my name is Kunle Adepoju. I was once in Irua as a student. Uh, electrical Electronics Engineering student in Erua uh, from, from the year 1999 and um, to 2001, like I, if I can remember. And um, I was so lucky to have um, Evangelist Dr. Biola Jesulowo as a father. 
Uh, of course, uh, some people wonder how I, get, how I got involved with his ministry uh, since I was an engineering student and he happens to be a lecturer in the uh, mass communication department. There are few questions I ask myself when I finish from Hirua and I have the privilege of meeting this man in the course of the journey of my life and ministry. The question is, why would a great man like him be in a town like Irua? Not even in Ibadan, not even in, in the city of Lagos, not even in, in the city of Abuja, but in that very small town, Irua, this man is making impact and this man is influencing life positively. Quite a number of uh, students in, in mass communication will be able to talk very well about him for the impact he has made in their life as their lecturer. I was so fortunate to have him in my life and ministry. The first time I became the drama coordinator of the Central Christian Body um, CCB, the Joint uh, Christian Body of uh, Students in Irua, it was the one that uh, anointed me, that commissioned me into the work. And the second time as well, he, he was also the person that commissioned me into the work. I was with him for a very long time. I served in his ministry as guest artist. Most times I would be called upon to come and act major roles in most of their stage plays. He happens to be a man who helped me to grow in spiritual preparation for drama ministrations. We will pray, we will fast. In fact, we will go to ministrations, vigils with fasting and we could only break uh, after our ministrations. And this has been one of the things, great impact this man has made in my life. And there is one I will never forget, and I would love to share it because of the kind of man he is. He's a honest man. He's a man of integrity. He's a holy man. A very holy man. Uh, he, he displays strong holiness in, in a perverse economy, in a perverse environment, like a school environment, like our school environment. I, I would love to share this story. Um, in our engineering department in those days, uh, we have some lecturers who are so, so dubious that um, uh, you can only pass their exam. You can only pass or scale through from their course if you can pay bribe. And this was eating so deep into our department at that time that even the Christians find it difficult to escape this. But we as Christians, somebody like me and some other brothers uh, with me, there is one brother we call Brother Raphael and another brother called Brother Solomon. The three of us, we, we came together and we started praying that we are not going to pay bribe and we want to scale through our academic um, without paying bribe. And we started praying that God should enter into the heart of this lecturer that wanted us to pay bribe before they can give us our scores. Of course, they didn't mark our papers and, and they, they were just awarding marks based on the money you can pay. And we don't want to corrupt our, 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 our faith because we want to pass exams. And um, while we thought of that, we thought of going to the only lecturer, one of the, one of the great lecturers we have in that school, Evangelist Biola J. Sulawo. The only lecturer we know that he loves holiness. The only lecturer that, 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 that was so sincere and that was so sincere with his work and he loves to be holy even while he is in that very uh, school. So we went to him and we told him our plight that this is what is happening in our department and we want him to help us because we actually don't want to corrupt our faith and pay bribe. And the man gave us a wise counsel. He told us to go and write a letter to the director of the school. Um, to the director of the school, we copy, and we copy the director of the school, we write it through our HOD. 
and then what we should ask for, we should not ask that, we should not tell them that uh, people are paying bribe and all of that, that. What we should just ask for is to ask for um, a cross-checking of our, of our papers with those who actually score the extension, who actually has, uh, have the extensions, who score the highest mark. They should cross-check our, our answer booklet with those ones that scored high marks. And that was what we requested. And we listed some of the matric numbers of those people we knew that have actually gotten their distinction by paying bribe. And then the letter got to the director, the letter got to, to the HOD, and the, the saga begins. And then because they knew that uh, Evangelist Biologist Law was actually involved, they could, not, they could not do anything to us. But eventually, we have to go back and rerun the course uh, based on what the HOD called us. The HOD called us and said, you this guy, you have to stop this thing that you are doing because if you continue, you are going to sack your lecturer because uh, the, the fact is clear that he, is, he has not marked any of the papers. He is only awarding the, 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 he is only awarding the scores based on those who pay bribe. And because you don't want to pay bribe, there is nothing we can do. But on the other hand, if you will not, uh, like he said, because that lecturer, we used to call him Osha. Quite a number of people we know uh, when I mentioned Osha. And so, uh, you have to stop this, uh, this case. And we just buried the case and we return to rerun the course and, and because of the intervention of a great man, a man of holiness. This man has influenced so much life. This man has raised so much people. I, I, I gained momentum, I gained speed, I gained strength by him being my father in Irua as a drama minister. Uh, Evangelist Biologist Law, you have affected us positively. And all of us have seen the impact of your tutelage, of your training in our lives today. And this, in that strength, many of us are going. And in that strength, many of us who are working in different parastatas are following integrity because you have trained us to be truthful. You have trained us to be faithful in every service we find ourselves. You have trained us to be sincere. You have trained us to follow holiness in all that we do. You know, everybody in Erua then uh, used to say the fear of this law is, is, <laughs> is the beginning of wisdom because they know that if this my entire examination hall like this, there is no form of my practice that will be accepted. Evangelist, doctor, Biola Jesulowo, you are a father to many of us. You are a great man because you have made others great. Just like I said, a man is not great until he has made others great. You have made so many of us great. Your children, in Irua campus, Polytechnic Ibadan, Adeshion Ogundoin campus, Irua, are celebrating you. Your children in drama ministry are celebrating you. Everyone in the drama world is celebrating you. Everyone in the academic setting of Adeshion Ogundoin campus, now Adeshion Ogundoin, we are all celebrating you. Happy 60th birthday, Daddy. The Lord will continually increase you. The Lord will increase your anointing. The Lord will increase your strength. The Lord will increase your wisdom. As you have started with the Lord in holiness and purity, so you will end with Him. And you will reign with the Lord in His kingdom. All of us shall reign with Him in His kingdom. You will not lose your relevance, sir the Lord will continually increase you. Happy birthday, Daddy.